Hey, the name's Cruel, that's King Rob Rule, and welcome to my no-nonsense weapon guide series for Monster Hunter Rise. These videos serve as tools to make first-time weapon use less daunting. This is in no way an in-depth guide or even a full toolkit of any given weapon. It is simply a starting point to give the fundamentals of the weapons and my own personal recommendations. If you're looking to find optimization, you won't find it here. And with that, let's get started. The Gun Lance isn't about damage numbers or efficiency. It's about explosions, spectacle, and pure, unadulterated fun. These are your shells. This is your worm state cannon. There are three types of Gun Lances. Normal, Wide, and Long. I won't cover all of them. This is only a short guide. However, in this guide, I'm using a normal shell and Gun Lance. Let's get into this. The guard holds ZR. The Gun Lance's shield is strong, but not quite as strong as the Lance. Like the Lance, the Gun Lance can poke three times with X. However, high pokes have been traded out for shelling by pressing A. Shelling really chews through sharpness though, so keep that in mind. You can string together pokes with shelling attacks to keep combos going longer. You can reload your shells by pressing ZR plus A. Movement fundamentals are the same as Lance. You can back hop, sidestep, and hop forward. For a more detailed refresher, check out my 5 minute lance guide. By pressing X and A together, you do this upward scoop attack. This is an opener to some high damage options. You can follow it up with X to slam down and press X again for a wide sweep. Or you can follow up the slam with A to unload the rest of your shells at once. You can do the forward scoop attack from an unsheathed position by moving forward and pressing X. From here, you must press X and A together to enter the slam combo path. I don't make the rules, that's just how it is. Press Z, R, X and A together for Y vent fire. This does big damage and is great for wake up attacks. Note the cooldown here. Next up is Worm State Cannon. You can get to this option in a couple of ways. For one, you can press X at the end of the scoop slam sweep combo path. The easier way is to simply press A three times. Instead of shelling a third time, you will unleash a Worm State Cannon. The Worm State Cannon will not be usable again until you reload your shells. Now, Blast Dash. This is a switch skill that can be obtained by crafting or upgrading 8 unique gun lances. You can string 3 of these together in any direction, given you have enough shells. Just keep in mind you need to start holding A and the direction you want to travel as soon as the initial blast dash is executed. If you press A multiple times following a blast dash, you can start levitating upwards. You can press X on the way down too if you want. You can also cancel a blast dash with X. You can follow up with a full burst if you like by pressing A. Let's talk wire bug attacks. First up, we want to swap out the ZR plus X move for Ground Splitter. You can get it by unlocking 3 star village or 2 star hub quests. This powers up your shells, Worm State Cannon and Wyvern Blast. By pressing X immediately after the first strike of Ground Splitter, you can do a faster than normal Worm State Cannon. Keep in mind, Sheathing cancels the power up. ZL plus A will have you enter this brief counter position. Successfully absorbing an attack will have you negate the damage and sharpen your weapon. This will also allow you to use the faster Worm State Cannon by pressing A after. Now let's put this all together into practice. Ideally, this is how you want to enter combat. <laughs> Just kidding. But seriously, I did say Gun Lance was all about the spectacle, right? Sometimes you'll find yourself out of shells. The scoop slam sweep combo is a good alternative to shelling that does good damage. Use ground splitter whenever you can. It's free damage. Some well placed sidesteps can keep you on the monster while avoiding its attacks. Keep in mind the Wyvern Blast is also a guard, so you can capitalize on monsters roars and weak attacks. I didn't like that Rathian was trying to restore health here, so I got over there pronto. I hope I've demonstrated how fun the Gun Lance can be. Anyway, that was Gun Lance in 5 minutes. Check out Rurikan's Gun Lance Guide for a more in-depth look at this magnificent weapon. Next up is Hammer. I've been King Rob Rule, and I'll see you in the next one. Gotta go fast.